every single day, I really think we're seeing the Mexico to Europe pipeline expand more and more. And this is exactly what you should want to see as a Mexico fan. Not only are we seeing an unprecedented amount of Mexican youth moving abroad to Europe to a variety of leagues, but we're also seeing Mexican clubs themselves take the initiative in further developing the talent that is already here in Mexico. And what I want to talk about specifically today is this Ajax and Pachuca partnership, which some people, they might not think it's a big deal. I would disagree. I think it's pretty huge. In a nutshell, Ajax is going to help Pachuca and all of their youth teams with their player development and their managerial development as well. They're going to be observing training sessions and making recommendations. They're going to be holding seminars with Pachuca managers and making sure that they are implementing all of the best developmental tactics that are going on in the Netherlands. And I think this is beautiful. There's two massive benefits for Mexico in this partnership, right? The first one is obviously improved development, okay? There's no league that is better at developing players in the world, in my opinion, than the Dutch league. I think Germany is a good shout, Portugal perhaps, but I still think the track record of the Dutch league is impeccable. The Dutch are always at the forefront of player development, and the fact that Mexico is going to get unfiltered access to pretty much the latest and greatest training techniques and, and development programs... I think it's massive. It's hard to quantify these things in terms of like, well, it will it result in a 5 or 20% increase in player development. You know, it's not really like FIFA where you just assign points to different attributes. But I think what we should assume is going to happen is that by the time these Pachuca, you know, academy guys, by the time they reach the senior team, they're going to be complete footballers. I see this a lot with Mexican youth players and especially the, the more promising prospects that break into the national team. As you watch these guys, they got the sauce, right? They got what it takes. But there's just, they have too many weaknesses in their game. Maybe somebody comes up and they're an amazing dribbler, but their passing and their decision making is just well below international standards. I think this was on full display during the CONCACAF U20 championship that just happened where Mexico lost to Guatemala. You, you could see in the games that they were by far the more talented players. By far. I mean, it... it Honestly, the gap at times was was shocking, and it was really encouraging to see as a Mexico fan, but they just couldn't put it together. Now, while part of that is certainly coaching, I think part of that is also what I alluded to earlier, which is we got a lot of really raw prospects, totally uncomplete players who... They are very strong in one or two attributes and very, very poor in others. And I think this partnership with Ajax and this assistance and development is going to help that. I think Jorge Sanchez, who it looks like he just signed his official transfer move to Ajax, which is huge. Let's not undersell that. What a freaking move that is. He's a great example of this for me where it's like I watch him and I'm like, okay, I see the hype, but this guy has a lot of work to do if he really wants to become a star. And what better place to become a star than Ajax. The second biggest benefit, and personally the one that I'm most excited about, is that this partnership is going to open more windows of opportunity for Mexican players to leave Liga Mekis and go to the Eredivisie. I think with the recent success of Edson Alvarez, that Ajax and other teams in the Dutch League are recognizing and acknowledging that Mexico, they got the players. You just gotta, like I said, refine them a little bit before they become a finished product. There's a lot of potential in Mexico. If you don't think there's not talent at the youth level in Mexico, I don't know what to tell you. If I was the Liga MX director, if I was Mikel Ariola, I would have mandatory every single summer window 30 Mexicans going, going to the Dutch League. Players would be like, well, I don't want to go to the Dutch League. And I'd be like, well, read your contract because it's a clause in there that I can legally sell you to PSV without your consent. And that's exactly what I did. That might be a bit authoritarian, but it would also be effective. You know what might be the best part about the Dutch league outside of the development? The fact that they will actually sell players to other leagues. Meaning if you're like a Chucky Lozano and you are killing in the Dutch league and Napoli comes knocking and a La Liga team comes knocking, a Prem team, they will sell you. And I think that should be the goal of every single Mexican player is to get to Europe, go to one of these developmental leagues in Europe. Don't go to Russia. Go to go to the Dutch league. Go to the Portuguese league. Excel, develop, become complete, become valuable to a, to a good team in a good league, and then move on for a bigger challenge when the time comes. It's really simple, folks. I mean, I, I can write it down if I need to, but I think it's, it's self-explanatory how you need to succeed as a footballer in today's world. I think the roadmap, the blueprint has already been laid down by, honestly, mostly US guys, mostly Americans. All you have to do is exactly what they're doing, just a little bit better. You never know. You never know where this type of stuff could lead. This Things like this, it's only a positive 
it is only a positive. I'll be damned if I see somebody saying like, well, actually, this is uh, extortion. Um, it's new colonialism. We're not going to have any of that on this channel, okay? That's that's just some absolute BS. That's some cheese. I'm not even going to go into that right now. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you leave it a like. I do have more Mexico content coming for y'all soon. We got a lot of juicy transfers um, that we need to discuss, but now is not the time. That will be a separate video. If you want to see that, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.